Oh, this is so exciting! I love planting things. All right, let's get a couple more torches down. There we go. Good, 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 good. Lily Tate, come on. Let's go snooze. Come, puppies. Hmm, well, <laughs> maybe they want to investigate the new, the new growing garden. This is going to be a much more efficient garden than the one we were using. <sighs> so nice knowing that in the back, in the back we'll have all these things like growing. Oh, we can get little benches back here. I hadn't even thought about little benches. Let's see. And we need another spot for water, actually. And that'll be under this tree. I had never thought about hiding the water under trees before, and it makes so much sense. Here we go. Get this. I'm getting kind of hungry. I need to feed the dogs. I need to feed myself. That's why we're doing this. We're building so that we can feed everybody. All right. Gotta feed our little zoo. So many things. I really want to get the peanuts going. All right, let's see. Let's get some of this out. Lily, Tate! Oh my goodness, you're so excited. Don't push Major Calhoun. Or Captain Kaz, even. Captain Kaz, I'm gonna pretend that I gave you some chicken, too. Even though you don't eat it. Oh, and we'll get some blueberry muffins for myself. Ah, home is starting to feel more like home. Properly expanded intended to. There we go. All right, so let's get some of these blueberry seeds and blackberry seeds and whatnot down. Get a good little berry garden going. <gasps> Look at him grow! I'm so excited! Look at him go! I'm oh, that makes me so happy. Alright, Lily, watch out! I guess we'll just do it like this. This is a pretty casual garden. <laughs> I'm very aware of that. Alright, let's see. So we'll get a little blackberry right there. And start a little raspberry patch right there. And what other berries do we have that we can toss in? Let's see. Mm, oh, there's more rice. I didn't know there was more rice here. Uh, candle berries. We'll put those in the special place too. Blueberries. There we go. And then we've also got... Let's see. Sunflower seeds. We've got already got our sunflower area. The oat seeds can go over in the other area. Hmm. Good, good, good. Brussels sprout, radish, turnip, onion, eggplant, garlic, bean, beet salad, winter squash. So there's actually a lot of berries that we're missing. We only have blackberry and raspberry and blueberry. I know there's a ton more berries. For now, the candle berries can come live over here too, I suppose. They'll go on this side. Tate, you're so adorable. Add a couple oats to this side. And then... I like it. I like where we're starting to go here. <laughs> then we really don't have as many seeds as I thought either, which really kind of like weirds me out because I thought we had so many seeds and we don't. All right, let me see. Anybody else? Who else should we put down? Um, I don't have any winter squash at all, so we might as well put some of those down. And the beets. And I really love beans. And I really love celery. Brussels sprouts, radish, turnips, onions. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of different seeds. So now, what we're gonna do is probably let's see. We could put another tree right here, another another fruit tree right there, and we can just continue with our little path. And what we will do is eventually, once we start getting like regular supplies of these different seeds, we will uh, like use. Here, I'll show you. Hmm, if I have it. We'll use like a little fence post, I'm thinking, and item frame. And even though it doesn't match up perfectly, we'll figure it out. What we can do is put down the fence post and then put the item frame on top of it and then put the type of like plant in there to just kind of denote, oh yeah, this, this is what goes in here. Come here, beet seed. It's not time for you to live in there. Come here. Come here, you silly beet seed. Gotcha. Here we go. So again, I mean, it's always amazing how plans manage to change, right? Because we can't exactly get down entire fields of things right now since there's not enough of the various plants. But let's go grab, let's go grab another fruit tree of some kind. Let's see, peaches, apples, bananas? No, not bananas. Hmm. What else do we have? I have a mango. Lily Tate, something's telling me mango may not be the thing I want to put in the backyard. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go collect some straw. Oh, strawberries! That's what we're missing in our little berry patch. Of course, strawberries. So apparently, Bun Bun, what are you doing in there? Bun Bun, Bun Bun, Bun Bun. All right, fine. If you want to hang out with the the deer, I'm not going to question it. I thought I finally fixed that waterfall too. Apparently, we have a duck in there. I've got to figure out how my ducks are escaping from there. Are you tamed, Bunny? No, you're not tamed, Bunny. I've, and we are going to start working on the rest of the forest exhibit in the zoo. We're going to start adding our turkey, our wild turkey. Oh, there we go. Here's some of the strawberries we need. Here's one type of strawberry. There's two different uh, varieties of strawberry in this world. So here's one. And then, oh, I was actually headed over to our friendship garden behind the reptile house. Woo, tree mace. Tree maze. Oh, yeah. And we can also plant bamboo shoots. I love bamboo shoots. So we'll get those too. They're so yummy. I love bamboo shoots. Oh, hey, a zebra. I remember you're there, zebra. Oh, and there's the skeleton garden entrance. Um, I'm thinking maybe a walnut tree might be a good idea. Let's see. Hmm. Plums. Random bunny named polka dot yet again. Pears. There's a chicken hanging out on top of that tree. Pears are really yummy. Hmm. I'll grab a pear. Can I can I make a pear sapling? Okay. Let's see. Nope. I would need a jungle sapling. Well, oh, that's a papaya. That's not a pear. Let's see. Well, let's try. Oh, these are pears. Durr, I ran right past them. Come here. Where'd you go? Ah, there you are. All right, can I make a pear sapling? I sure can. I just have to combine it with an oak sapling. And then what about walnuts? Walnut. Yep, just have to add it with the oak sapling. There we go. Thank you, Friendship Garden. I will one day organize you, put plants, put benches. Uh, we can leave like a little friendship notes in it or something. We'll make it nice. All right, so we've got one of the varieties of strawberry. I think there's actually three varieties of strawberry now. I think of it one, yep, two, three. I think maybe I have some of them in the inside the kitchen, so I'll go check there. Hello, bunnies! So many bunnies. I need to add your guys, uh, like, little... Is that an untamed bunny? Well, maybe they're having babies, finally. <laughs> I've been thinking it's kind of odd that the bunnies haven't had any babies, because I heard that they breed like mad. Maybe all my cloning animals are startling the rest of the zoo. I don't know, Myla had some cubs, so we'll figure it out. Alright, let's rush back in here. Eventually we will expand the kitchen as well. Let's see. Oh no, I think I used up all of the one type of strawberries that I had to make stuff for kaffirs. Well, that's a little bit silly on my part. Let's see, I already have the blackberries. I already have the walnut. Let's see. Um, yep, I sure did use up all that one type of strawberry. That's okay. That's okay. It was to a good cause. Oh, look at it. It's growing. I wish I could pick it now, but I don't know if it's ready yet. All right, these guys are growing. So let's go ahead... Hmm, I don't know if I want this type of strawberry here, though. I kind of want to, like, put them right here. As odd as that sounds. Alright, there's those. Strawberry seeds. Let's see how they fare up there. I don't know how well they'll do, but they seem like pretty hardy wild strawberries. Alright, and then over here... Hmm, thinking some flowers and things... And then Lily Tate, watch out! And we can just kind of go wild. And it's totally not organized right now. Oopsie daisy, that's actually where the gate is, so we don't want to put anything there. You guys, stop jumping on stuff. You're going to smush my plants. I just said stop jumping on stuff. Oh, they're such silly dogs. Alright, winter squash here. Beet seed there. Um... Wonder. I think they'll they'll be okay there. And then we've also got. Oh yeah, I need to go combine combine these and make some saplings. Do 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 do. I love planting stuff. I love making stuff. So pear, pear sapling, yay! Walnut, walnut sapling, yay! Oh, getting stuff done. Actually, getting stuff done. I could just faint from excitement because we're actually getting stuff done. I think we'll put the walnut tree right here. One over. Nope, that's perfect. I think. Yep, there we go. I've got a walnut tree. And then 
maybe yeah we'll, we'll make the little stream there but I don't know maybe adding a pear tree hmm we'll hold on to the pear sapling look at how lush and different this area is looking already this is fantastic and actually let's see where's a water bucket there's a bucket here's a water barrel I love this thing and then what we could do is Lily watch out this one might be a little trickier Right, come here and then meow. did we do it okay hopefully those those guys will be watered and then watch out Lily I'm gonna add some water over here too hmm where's my little water bucket there it is all right put you here and you there and then I wonder if you have to till up the ground yeah I think you have to till the ground to get the bamboo going. There is no rhyme or reason anymore. I was trying for rhyme and reason and it escalated quickly. But I'm pretty sure everyone's used to that. Maybe Kaffers can give me some tips on how to organize my garden. Alright, there's those. Oh yeah, and actually, one of the other things we can do, other than put like plants and things in here, is in certain places, just put straight up torches. Like that. And then eventually the vines will grow over the torches too, and it actually makes a pretty nice effect. I'm pretty content with uh, how it turns out when that happens. So let's see. There's not really a good spot over here. Let's just put some torches down here. Oh, ooh, look at all these berry bushes! This will help out quite a bit. There we go. Alright. Let's come back over. Our little berry garden is growing! Good, 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 good. Berries over here. <laughs> Once upon a time it was organized, but you know what? Maybe an organized Siri garden just kind of uh, is an oxymoron. It just doesn't doesn't work out in the end. All right. So we, what do we have left? We have bean seeds, and then mm -hmm, put the pear sapling up. We might save the pear sapling for up on top. And what else do we need? Wow, there's a lot more. <laughs> I was like, oh good, we've made progress. And then I opened the, the chest and I remembered, no, no, we really haven't. If we really want to get serious about making the food, there's a lot more food to be made. Holy moly. I underestimated this. I sure did. But that's okay. Because I, I really honestly love gardening and plants and things like this so this is right up my alley lily watch out baby girl i don't want to accidentally smack you with this this is for digging up dirt not doggy brains oi i swear though if you keep jumping on my stuff you guys you're gonna go you're gonna go sit in a very uh see look at this naughty puppies naughty <laughs> that got them to be quiet at least all right zucchini once upon a time, this was to me. No, don't try out. Oh, that's because I haven't put the thingy under there yet. Oh, no. I don't think I did, at least. Oh, no. Okay, we'll fix that. Yeah, I didn't put the water down there yet. Whoops. Alright, there's that. And then, yeah, and if you guys have any gardening tips for, like, Minecraft gardening and making stuff look nice, please let me know. And if you have, like, good pictures of your own gardens, please feel free to send them in to our little Facebook. I want to start an album where we can really show off, like, community, community builds. So let's see. Miscellaneous garden supplies. Let's get eggplant. That sounds exciting. Oh, there's more, like, let's get Brussels sprouts. I hate the smell of Brussels sprouts, but why not? Ooh, I love okra, though. Uh, more eggplant seeds. I don't know why those guys had some trouble uh, figuring out who was who. Cauliflower seeds. This is quickly escalating into a rather awesome giant garden. <laughs> That's okay, I suppose. Let's put the eggplants right there. Why not? Why not? We're not... Let's just not even question it anymore, Lily and Tate. We're just going for it. This is this is Operation. Okay, so what we'll do, Lily and Tate, is this is Operation Grow the Seeds. So we're not going to eat this stuff. This is all going to be turned back into seeds, shoved into our seed sorting chest, and we won't really eat much of these until we feel confident that we have enough that we won't accidentally eat our entire supply. I mean, imagine if these were the last like rutabaga rutabaga seeds in the whole world, and we ate them. I would feel really bad. I would feel like, oh no. I ate the only remaining rutabagas in the world, 
And now we have to go and like scour the land just to find more rutabagas. No, 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 no. I wonder if like people who lived in the ancient days ever felt that stressed. It's like, oh man, I better not eat these. If I eat all of these, then I won't have any seeds left to plant them again. It's a good lesson, Lillian Tate, in moderation and controlling your urges. All right, there we go. Put down some cauliflowers. Put down some scallions. It's just chaotic mess and jumble of plants. And honestly, I guess I like that a little bit more <laughs> than, than being nice and tidy and organized. Oh dear. What am I doing with my life, my pup pups? Let's get mustard seeds down, sweet potato seeds down. Why not? It's just a giant garden. Mm -hmm. Tate, watch out! I'm gonna smack you accidentally, my love. And that would make me so sad, Tate. It would make me so sad indeed. Let's see, got those planted. So let's just plant these. And then some sweet potatoes, because why not? I'm pretty happy with the trees, too. Um because the trees, not only will they provide fruit and things, but they are providing that water, so that makes me very contented. Alright, what's this? It's a parsnip. You know, I have never eaten a parsnip in real life, so that's going to be an interesting experience to see what that grows into. Alright, and then we'll get... We will get some coffee seeds planted, even though I'm not a coffee drinker, because it'll be a really good thing to have, like, a little... <gasps> we could we could resurrect our cat poop coffee restaurant from our Zoo Tycoon 2 series. So, if you guys aren't familiar with what the heck cat poop coffee is, let me just reassure you, it is a five-star establishment. Uh, just in case anyone's asking, I'm pretty sure if you... Uh, like now if you look for Zoo Tycoon 2 Cat Poop Coffee, you will find my days as a zookeeper in another zoo, Tate, selling cat poop coffee indeed. <laughs> yes. Yes, Tate. Maybe it's not glorious, but somebody had to do the job, okay? Alright, let's see. Anything else? I kind of want to leave this part for flowers and or berry bushes. Probably berry bushes. And then I'll... I think I'll take up this little spot and put all the mustard here. Mustard can also be considered an herb too. Well, not much left. <laughs> I know we got really busy with this and I apologize. It's just something that I really love doing. I think we already had some cantaloupes, but that's okay. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. Next time I'll be a little more organized, I bet. I hope. I'll try at least. Alright, some little cantaloupes right there. Watch out, Lillian Tate! Some rutabaga. There's lots of wild rutabaga around here, I've noticed, actually. Some celery. And then we'll get some tomato seeds down. And call it good for now. And we will have, like, a little vegetable uh, flower slash plant garden up top, too. This is supposed to be just, like, our mega garden. Like, the area where we can come out. And now, and we will get some like pathways and things down in the vegetable garden too, but now when we come out, we can look around and be like, ah, there's actually plants that we can come and get when we need to like eat new things. Are you ready? I don't think it's ready yet. Hmm. Holy moly, look at how fast that grew. Rutabaga, you just don't wait. And yeah, eventually it'll just spread all the way down here and we'll pick better areas. We'll be like, oh, this plant would be much happier like in a shaded area and this plant is much happier in the sun. So we'll be more specific about where we put the plants. Just right now we're just trying to get the seeds. And let's see, I think I need some jack-o'-lanterns and some gray wool. And we'll do just that like mix match pattern. Like one there, one here. One there, one here for the jack-o'-lanterns that have the gray wool that pretends to be a stone for stepping stones through the garden. So we did pretty good about lighting it up. Good job, Lily. Good job, Tate. I'm very proud of you, too. Ah, oh, so this is very exciting. Now it's just kind of like sitting back and waiting until things grow. Oh, did I pick it? <gasps> I picked a blueberry! I picked a blueberry from our new little blueberry garden. That's so exciting. I'm going to plant it right here. More blueberries. Fantastic. Oh, and the sun's coming up. Good. Good, good, good. And these little guys are growing, and we'll have to find the other types of strawberries. So we've got something started, at least. I had no idea that it would be this complicated, Lily, because I forgot that we only had, like, one or two of all the different kinds of seeds. And one or two of all the different kinds of seeds does not an entire vegetable garden make. So let's just turn up the amount of seeds, and once we have a good supply, we will reorganize and repurpose uh, the different 
different seeds to the different areas. And while we're over here, harvest a little bit of divine and get it right there. And I could have sworn there's another one. And then another one right here. And eventually these vines will, will just kind of spread around. And this will be a great place to come and harvest vines for using in the other parts of the zoo too. Look at it. It's so pretty. And we'll put in little fountains. Maybe a little, well, maybe a little fountain lily. I'm not very good at building fountains. And it's kind of hard to make a little fountain nonetheless. And then maybe little benches. And we can have the little patio furniture. Maybe we'll have the little balcony poking off. So we'll figure this out, but I like it. I'm really happy. Look at our little garden. We're doing good. We're doing good, pup pups. Bah, not that they're that interested in the plants. They're probably more interested in their breakfast chicken. Ah, oh, well, here you go, you two. <laughs> Ooh, well, all right, everybody. There's the vegetable garden, at least the foundation of a put down. I can't believe there's still, oh my gosh, Tate, you scared the bejesus out of me. I thought you were some sort of monster coming out of my seed shed. So there's the expanded veggie garden, and that's at least something ticked off the list. And next time we will have to work a little bit more on other parts of the zoo. I kind of want to get that little garden done up there. I'll try to do that quickly. It might be a side quest, um, and we will be working more. Mm, fresh apple right off the tree. And we will be working more on the reptile house, getting the fox and the other areas of the forest exhibits prepared and set up. It's going to be very exciting, Lily. Very exciting, Tate. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.